TJ Foster here in Northern Alberta. Just uh, gonna do some chatting about uh, the knives that I prefer uh, when I skin a bear. Uh, my father's been in the business for uh, around 30 years, so I've grew up around it. First off, when we're uh, starting our first five main cuts of the bear, we like to use a, a carpet ripper. So we'll use this, we'll put it in the center chest and we'll go right down to the tail. Then we'll do two, two cuts along the arms from the wrist down to the elbow and across to the chest, both arms. And then we'll go from the back pad straight down the back leg right to the tail. I prefer to use the carpet ripper for the, for the five main cuts. Just It keeps a, a better cut. Uh, the knife can get a little jagged and this one just keeps it straight and it just slides right through the skin of the bear. Uh, secondly, from the majority of the skinning, I prefer to use a, a Havilon. It's a changeable blade. Um, the reason why I prefer this is it's, if the blade dulls, you can just change it out and keep it sharp. The cuts are, the cuts are nice. The Havilon is an absolute must when I get to the, around the face and the, and the head of the bear. You're in a, a tight spot and you want to stay really close to the skull. So this sh sharp little blade is a lot, it has a lot more benefits than a bigger blade like the buck or the, the fleshing. Especially when you get to around the ears and the eyes, you don't want to lose the, the lashes on the eyes. So this, this little knife, you can get it really tight to the skull. The gums of the, the bear is another big one. You want to get tight to the gums. You don't want to lose any of those gums because it's tough for the taxidermist to deal with that. When uh, we're taking the head off the bear, I prefer to use the, the bigger buck because it's got the bigger steel, stronger steel. You got to get in there and get the joints. The, the little blade, like I mentioned earlier, has a tendency to, to snap. I use a regular buck skinning knife to cut off the wrists and to get in the tendons and the, the joints. Finally, for when you want to flesh your bear, if you're going to salt it in the field or if you're at camp or at your house and you want to salt it, you don't have, don't have the ability to freeze it, I would use this to flesh the bear after, get the, all the excess fat, all the excess meat off of it so that you can salt the bear. You don't want any of that on it because it, the, the salt doesn't get into the fat and the, and the meat. You just want it flat on the skin. And this is a perfect perfect knife for that. You know, long cuts, it just glides through that fat and that, uh, that meat on there. Yeah, those are the, the four tools that I prefer to use when I'm uh, skinning a bear.